When you come from a humble background, you're forced to stay there. We had to end that. Heading to a middle school on the other side of town, far from the disadvantaged neighborhoods of Toulouse. The aim is to allow students to grow academically and socially, making a positive impact in the classroom. It allows us to meet people we wouldn't have met otherwise. School diversity started here five years ago, and it's bearing fruit. It didn't lower the academic results. On the contrary, it boosted them for everyone. We're taking you to a secondary school in southern France that embraces social diversity. Donc tu nous dis que la laïcité, elle donne des droits, c'est ça Elle accorde des droits. Très bien. It's the first moral and civic Alors, education tu... class for these seventh euh, graders. Ne bougez plus. Vas-y, refais le nous. Respecter les autres. La laïcité, c'est destiné. Donc la charte laïcité, elle est destinée. Eleven-year-old Sumaya is adapting to her new environment. Si c'est bien, on est tous mélangés. It's great here. We're all mixed together. It's better than having everyone from the same neighborhood in the same school. Then you don't meet anyone new. Sumaya comes from a working class area, around seven kilometers away. She's part of a diversity program set up in 2017 to promote equal opportunities for middle school kids. Seven groups of children from Sumaya's neighborhood have since joined a privileged school in Toulouse. In Toulouse, we had a huge problem. Schools in ghetto neighborhoods suffered major academic failure. So we decided to close down two middle schools that were located in working class areas in the southwest of the city. Only around half of the kids there passed their end of school exams. Many quit the education system, and in some cases, there were only 12 or 13 kids left at the end of middle school. We thought it best to shut the schools and bring the kids to privileged parts of Toulouse instead. The department provided children with these free shuttles for an easy commute. It takes them about half an hour to reach Collège Bellevue, a school located in a former park. Bravo. At the gates, the headmaster greets students every day. In office since 2019, Jean-José Piedra has seen his highly privileged school change gradually. Out of 800 pupils, nearly a quarter come from the disadvantaged neighborhoods of Toulouse. That figure is now the norm in the entire region in terms of social diversity. Allez, vite. The community creates a safe and supportive environment for children, but it requires daily effort from the school staff. Adults are present at all times during activities, right from when the kids arrive at school in the morning to their breaks and their lunches at the canteen. Adults are here to show them that they can evolve at school but cannot dominate it. Children can have freedom, but it comes with rules. And the adults enforce these rules, social rules, codes and attitudes that need to be acquired. This is still a new experience for these seventh graders, whose class size is limited to 25. Pupils here come from 30 different schools and have very different backgrounds. Est-ce que vous savez qu'est-ce qui va se passer l'année prochaine, l'été prochain, à Paris Les JO. Les JO 2024. Alors, c'est quoi les JO Est-ce que quelqu'un pourrait expliquer ce que c'est Diversity stimulates their critical thinking skills and helps them build empathy, according to teachers. I have to make sure that everyone feels at ease. Sometimes I have to stop kids who are a bit too enthusiastic, but they quickly understand that everyone should have the opportunity to answer a question or to comment on the lesson. Everyone has room to progress at their own pace. Every single student has the ability to grow, even those who have significant difficulties. It's the start of the school year, and some of these children meet up with their social diversity mentor, 
a teacher responsible for connecting with kids from so-called priority education zones. She or he helps pupils in the last six months of primary school all the way through to sixth grade. M -D -P. We try to ensure that everything goes smoothly from the start, that the students have all their school supplies, and that they're in the right mindset. We support them and try to enrich their learning skills. We also help with their homework. We try to work in smaller groups or individually for those who need more help. The diversity programme is now well established, but it sparked a debate when it was first put into place. Teachers were worried that the mix wouldn't work and that the top students would leave. Some parents were scared that all the attention would be on those who came from difficult backgrounds, those who might have a lower academic level, and that we'd forget about the others. The neighbourhoods of Mirai and Bellefontaine don't really have a good reputation, so parents were worried that there might be more violence at school. Parents whose local schools had closed were also sceptical and their concerns had to be taken into account. Transporting children isn't just about putting them on a bus. You have to talk to the families who don't understand why their kids have to leave the neighbourhood when they used to have school right at their doorstep. We've got a group of educators who are dispatched on buses to make sure no one's isolated and to create a bond between parents and teaching teams. The educators are also there during the children's breaks. They help with homework and help them to become more sociable. Sumaya and her friends say they're thrilled with the outcome. Sumaya is always with friends and friends. She's very social. We meet so many people, and not necessarily people we hang out with in our neighborhood. I think that's amazing because I've learned a lot from them. People come from all over the world, they have different backgrounds, and so when we're in class and the teachers ask some questions, you learn things that you'd never have known otherwise. It's great. For them, the term social diversity shouldn't even be an issue. You shouldn't be stigmatized because of where you live. The most important thing is that a person is beautiful from the inside. We don't really care about what she or he looks like on the outside. I'm not going to judge someone based on their appearance. It's truly about the person. Learning about inclusion from an early age helps children boost their understanding of core values like fairness, respect and care. Children from different backgrounds blend in well. Each pupil brings something positive in terms of language, posture, clothing and academic growth. Students who come from disadvantaged neighbourhoods have shattered the glass ceiling. They allow themselves to have academic ambitions that they wouldn't necessarily have had if they hadn't come here. On the way back home, Dua tells us she's keen on studying medicine. She's still got four more years before her baccalaureate, but she's already decided on a career path. I realize how lucky I am now because I wouldn't have had the same opportunities had I gone to my local school. When I first arrived here, there were rumors about Bellevue that people were wealthier than us, so it was definitely nerve-wracking to go there because we were worried about not having good enough grades or not being wealthy enough. But when I got here, I could see that students weren't so different. There were no divisions, everyone hung out together, and whether it was with the teachers or with the staff, Everyone treated us the same. Since the start of the program, children from priority education zones have gone from only 50% to 70% passing their middle school exams. 
Là, c'est une barrière comme on a derrière, c'est la limite. A researcher on the sociological impact of the program says she's noticed a huge improvement. Le fait d'intégrer des collèges où il y a des attentes très fortes the fact that these children are going to schools with very high expectations in terms of academic success and performance, inevitably, there's an impact on their ambitions and their engagement in the school life. Associations in the Mirai neighborhood where they live help them with their homework, and they've witnessed how children have gained in concentration and engagement way more than when they were going to their local schools in priority education zones. Dans l'éducation prioritaire. Regardless of where they came from, these pupils seem to have flourished at school. Such positive results have led regional authorities to make this program permanent and possibly to be extended across other cities in France.